Hi, I'm Joe Bombaghetti with Kelly Law Offices, and I want to take a couple minutes to talk with you about what to expect after you've hired Kelly Law Offices. We believe we're a little unique in the way we handle cases, and that it's a team effort. And what that means is you'll always have two attorneys and one paralegal assigned to your case. So that way, whenever you call in or we call you, you're always going to be dealing with the same three people. So that three people will always be working as a team on your case. That way when you call in, you know the people, we know you, and you can figure out what's going on. Um, after that initial phase, uh, as far as it being assigned to your attorneys and paralegal, what will happen is the, the paralegal will then contact you to get your basic information about what's been happening since you first initially met with the attorneys and then where your next steps are. So for instance, um, the paralegal will want to know where is your car, where's your motorcycle if it's been damaged. This way we can get working on getting it towed to a uh, shop to be repaired, getting it um, moved out so that we can get a, an offer on having it totaled out and even it's damaged too much. Um, because ultimately speed is key when it comes to getting your property damage resolved. Because without a car or a motorcycle, kind of tough to get around. As far as your injury goes, your paralegal is going to be the contact that's going to be the one to know what you're doing, where you're doing it, and with who. So if you took an ambulance, if you went to the emergency room, if you're following up with a doctor or specialist, the paralegal is going to be the one that's keeping track of that. She's going to then report to the attorney so that everybody's in the loop so we can take the right steps to make sure that um, you're getting the care you need. And if you're running into issues with getting care, that we can perhaps see about um, finding some providers that might be able to, to take you, especially if you don't have health insurance. That's a, a big issue today. Once you're done treating, the paralegal will then go ahead and gather up your medical records, and that's where your cooperation really comes into play. Because there is no um, outside source that we can go to if, as far as a master database to pull the information of what doctors you've seen, when you saw them, for how long you saw them. So it's very important that you keep track of that information because the paralegal will need that to send out medical records requests. What those are is requests that go to your doctor so that we can get your records to know what, what's been going on with you. We have to send those out. The records you get uh, just don't work because there are certification pages that go along with what we request that they don't give to you. So although it might be simpler for you to get them, it doesn't quite work out for what we need. Once that's done, a demand letter is put together where the attorney will, will compile the medical records, what was wrong with you, how the crash happened, we will call you, talk with you to make sure that everything is correct, talk with you about a number that we think we can settle your case for, and then the demand letter is then sent out to the insurance company. Roughly 30 to 45 days later, we get a response from the insurance company with an initial offer. We always tell people that this is a bit of a process. Our first demand is not always what we're willing to settle for, and their first offer is likewise not typically what they're willing to settle for. So then begins the negotiation process. In the event that falls apart, meaning we don't think they're paying you enough, uh, the next step would be to file a lawsuit. And then as far as the litigation phase goes, there are things called discovery, which is a bunch of stuff that has to be produced and written questions that have to be answered, and ultimately perhaps a deposition. And that's where you can call in to, be, uh, to give your answers under oath, and then the other side gets to evaluate you. And then even then, typically, uh, a settlement is reached after they get a chance to, to kind of take their uh, bite of the apple, so to say, of what's going on. And then ultimately, if the case isn't resolved through that, it goes to a trial, and that's when we get to present our evidence, they get to present their evidence, and a judge or a jury will ultimately make a decision. But most cases, about 9 out of 10 cases settle, and even those that go to litigation, about 9 out of 10 of those cases settle. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an overview of what Kelly Law Offices does and kind of how we do it. We'd welcome the opportunity to help you. Hopefully you don't need it, but we help injured people every day. We fight for those to, for those hurt so that they can get the compensation that they deserve. And lastly, I'm Joe Bombaghetti and I love the opportunity to help you.